How's it going? Planting out some brassicas today and I thought I'd bring you along and show you the method we're now using to plant these guys out. Started using it last year after seeing a video clip on Dan's channel, Allotment Diary is over in the UK, it grows a lot of show veggies. I'll put a clip up in the corner if I can find the actual clip that shows the planting of the brassicas out. This method requires the ground to be nice and firm. Brassicas like firm ground, brassicas being your cauliflower, your cabbage, kohlrabi, broccoli, that sort of thing. They like the ground firm. What we found last year was the plants that we actually firmed in nice and tight into the soil grew a lot larger, especially with the cauliflower, a lot larger head, which was a lot tighter. The plants we didn't firm down, uh, they grew tall, leggy, and the heads were very small, and they weren't that tight at all. So I was pretty much well sold on it after doing it last year, so I thought I'd do a bit of a clip on how we do it this year. It's pretty basic. All I'm going to be using is a bucket full of worm castings and my own knuckles to firm down the soil after we had some castings in so with these guys I pretty much will space them around about 45 centimeters or a foot and a half apart so I'll probably end up putting one here and another one probably about over there we have a, a capsicum here but I'm not too worried about that I'm going to be putting another one just down in here these fruit here should be coming off fairly soon so I'm not worried about it interfering I'm just going to follow this pattern all the way up the bed with the broccoli and hopefully we'll get about eight in here. There's one, two, three, four, possibly five in this little area here, so that should be enough. Um, what I'm going to do to begin with is move what little mulch is left aside and I'm going to be adding in some worm castings. These are some castings that have come from our bathtub farm, so they're going to be dug through the soil here. And the great stuff about these castings is, if I can, I know there's a couple here, I saw them squirm in. They've still got worms in them, so we're basically inoculating the soil here with a new lot of worms. There's also eggs in there as well. So these little eggs will have a couple of little worms in them, so they'll help inoculate the bed as well. So I'm just going to turn that over a little bit. I'll put a spade full on each area. I'm just going to turn the castings into the bed a little bit. Then what I'm going to do is, with the actual castings bucket itself, I'm going to place it on the bed and press down. Just firm up the soil around the general area where the brassicas are going to go. And over here the same. I don't think this will destroy the wicking action of these beds too much, but it should give some nice firm soil for the um, broccoli to settle into. Just firming this down a little bit with my hands as well. I've actually seen people in allotments in England use cricket pitch or tennis court rollers as well to firm the soil down before they plant their brassicas out. Another good thing about having this depression in the soil means that when we do water, because we do top water our wicking beds, when we do water the water's going to pool in this little depression so hopefully that'll give the plants a little bit more moisture just to, before their roots settle and grow down and find the moist zone in the base of the wicking bed so you now it's just a matter of making a little bit of a hole and planting these little guys in so these guys probably should have gone out a week or so ago plant them down nice and firm and another thing I was told by a local gardener was try and plant them deep so you actually plant them to where that first leaf comes out not down the bottom, so this one can probably go in about nearly three quarters of an inch or two centimetres deeper into the ground. So, apparently that also helps nice tight head formation and strong growth. So there you go. It's a pretty easy method. I would suggest though, if, if you're not totally sold on the idea, to do what we did last year and leave a few out. And I, I guarantee you, you will see the difference in the way the heads form on certain plants. So. That's pretty much all it I suppose. I'll post this straight away, no point waiting till the end of the season because you're going to see these guys in walk around clips in the coming weeks anyway, so... Any comments, questions, suggestions, drop them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you. 
Other than that, have a great one and take it easy. Catch ya.